Dukes and Bell here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Well, we're at a beach then if we're going to be in that process. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, and we are always looking uh, to, uh, you know, put the word out, man, about great stories. And uh, this young man that's coming in studio with his parents right now is just that. It's not only a great story, it's a moving story. And people around the state of Georgia, around the country have been keeping up with it as we say hello. What's up, Devon Gales? What's going on, man? I'm good. How are you doing? Man, we are doing great. It's brother, it's good to see you. Good to have you in studio. We've been following you for a while, and certainly we know that you're a part of the 92.9 The Game family. There's an event going on downstairs today, a little bit later on. Uh, Mike down at Colony Square. Yeah, we've been talking about you, obviously, like everybody else in town. Good to finally get to see you and meet the parents and the family. How are you feeling? I feel good. Nice to meet you, too. For just guys who have been following and haven't seen the article in the paper, how, how far along are you? What's, what's going on? And what's, uh, what's the next step, I guess, a lot of folks want to know? Well, the next step is going home. I go home Saturday at around 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going home to see my teammates and hang out with them for a while. And just to be home for a minute. Yeah, it's great. Now, the last story Mike and I talked about was uh, the fundraiser. I guess you guys went to Georgia. We want to welcome his parents in studio as well. Jarvis, is there a mic on? Just want to say hello. Hello, Mom. Hello. How are you? <laughs> hey. Dad, Bye. what's going on? How are you doing today? Dave, appreciate you guys stopping in. So we were talking about uh, the building you a house, man, in Louisiana, huh? Mm. Yes, sir. That's a blessing, man. I, I saw that story, and it touched my heart. I was like, wow, people, so many people just giving you love, man. That's incredible. Talk about that. It's just been amazing to see how many people... Had my support and just me and my family. I thank everybody for it. Yeah. I know George has been a big part of this. Coach Rick, do you get a chance? I know he's still talking to you and reaching out to you, even though he's moved on to Miami now. You're still visiting with him? Oh, yes, sir. I just talked to him last week on Wednesday, just seeing how he's been doing. And I'm checking on him. He's checking on me. Now we've talked about obviously uh, when you find out what's going on, how Georgia helped. I mean, as as, t- as tough a situation as it is, to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get back and forth, and I mean everything from the stickers on the helmets to the access to the plane. Uh, yeah, if you can comment to how great the from a parent standpoint, Georgia has been. Oh yes, they've been. They're not enough words to describe just how uh, how we feel about the University of Georgia and the um, the staff there. They've been more than supportive for. Uh, Devon, and now for the foundation to uh, give us this wonderful gift. You know, like my husband said at the press conference, it took 30 years off of our life. (laughs) (laughs) It was a total surprise, right? Absolutely correct. Well, if you're not familiar with Devon's story, playing against the University of Georgia, this happened on September 27th, and uh, he's on the field playing and enjoying, you know, what we all do, and that's the game of football. And uh, since then, you know, Devon went down, and so many people have helped in this situation, including the folks at the Shepherd Center. I know you guys are, uh, can you say something about those folks and, and what they've meant to you guys? Dad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put Dad on the spot, yeah. The Shepherd Center has been um, been a phenomenal place. We uh, we went there uh, after his rehab, after his surgery on uh, that Sunday. We uh, reported to the Shepherd Center that Wednesday. And from then to now, to last week, the Shepherd Center has been supportive of us. Uh, Mr. James Shepherd. Open Arms, his staff is awesome. Mm. They are being support, real, real supportive of us, and we can't thank them enough also for what they have done. And we will be returning back on the 5th of April to do more treatment at the Shepherd Center. So they are opening the door again for us. So we just uh, <laughs> thankful for that. No doubt. And now, I heard a little rumor, and Devon, I want to get your take on this. Now, <laughs> is it true, like, that you got a split household here? We got a Falcon and a Saints fan in the house? Is that, is that right? Mm, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so who's the, who's the Falcon fan now? I'm the Falcon fan. All right, you're the Falcon. And who's the Saints fan? Ma. <laughs> now, do y'all even talk on game day? I mean, what's going on in the house? Nope. Huh? <laughs> There's no conversation. <laughs> I'm on one side. He's on the other side. <laughs> well, Dirty bird in the Florida League. Yeah, the house. absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Well, again, uh, and, and the event downstairs is going on from 6 to 8, I believe, tonight. Correct. correct. Here at Colony Square. And for those who don't know, we're right here in the corner of 14th and Peachtree. There's tons of parking downstairs. Come right in and obviously come upstairs and help a great cause and help Devon get that house done. Mm-hmm. Triumph over tragedy is uh, is the is the uh, the fundraiser uh, actually ra- helping raising money here. So we're we're trying to give back as much as we can, man. We didn't get a chance to get over to the Shepherd Center. I know our morning show, John Freaky and Hugh came over to see you guys, and uh, as I said, you're a big part of our family. But we heard you were going to be in the building, and we said we got to get him up here. We got to <laughs> we got to talk to him a little bit and, and show him some love. So, man, I just want to say congrats on everything. I know there's a lot of work still left ahead, but yeah. you're gonna get there. 
Yeah, thank you. You're going to get there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to make it. Oh, man, it's great. Hey, terrific. I know it's so inspirational to so many people. And I know you guys have, have heard that and getting the feedback. And, yes. and I, ho- I hope that helps to, helps you, right, on some days when you're waking up, to knowing yeah. that so many people are praying and hoping you're going get, to get where you need to be. Yes, sir. I think that will prayers work. The amount of support that we have been having here at uh, here in Atlanta, mm-hmm. we can't thank Atlanta enough, Athens enough, UGA enough, the surrounding community enough for what they have done for us because they embraced us as family, and we're now family here in Atlanta. So it's gonna be hard to be back and forth from <laughs> Louisiana to Atlanta. So uh, it's gonna be. Happy going home, but sad I'm leaving my family, but <laughs> I got 30 days and we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here, I mean, and uh, we're family as well now. We're your extended family, all right? Anytime yes. you guys uh, need anything, you know that. Devon, again, thank you guys so much. Mom and Dad, thank you guys for coming up. I know it's going to be a busy little evening for you guys, but we appreciate you stopping in on 92.9 The Game. Thank you. Thank you.